Virtual Sunday School. It is great to have you with us again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Today, we're gonna think about Jesus as a healer. We're gonna look at a Bible story, some crafts, prayers, and then finish with a final thought. And we're gonna announce the winner of our competition. Ooh. So grab your drink and a biscuit, and let's do this. When you're stuck at home with time to spare, can't go outside, you're not going anywhere. Why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a suit Tune into Virtual Sunday School With the craft to do and a story or two Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? We're going to look at the story of when Jesus healed the official son, which can be found in John chapter 4 verses 46 to 54. Although things across the world do seem to be getting better, for now we're still stuck at home. So this week, to help us tell the story, we then listed the help of a whole people group. The Lego people. This is Jesus. Jesus came to visit a place called Cana, where he had done his very first miracle of turning water into wine. Now, there was a royal official whose son was very sick in a nearby town called Capernaum. When the official heard that Jesus was in town, he went to find him and begged him to heal his son. He was really sick. He was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus said, you will never believe. The official said, please, sir, come down before my child dies. And Jesus replied, go, your son will live. And the official departed. <laughs> While he was on his way home, his servants met him and told him his son was well. What time did my son get better? The official asked. Yesterday at one in the afternoon, they replied. The official realized that this was the exact time Jesus had said to him, your son will live. So he and his whole household believed in Jesus. In this story, we heard about the dad who went to Jesus to ask for his son to be healed. And Jesus healed him without even going to see him. Today, there are lots of people who aren't very well, especially with coronavirus, but also with other things too. You might even know someone who isn't very well. Although we can't physically go to Jesus, we can still go to him through prayer, which means that you can take people you know who aren't very well to Jesus by praying for them. And as we learn in today's story, Jesus doesn't need to be physically there to heal someone. He can still do it anyway. But there are some times when even though we might pray, it doesn't always happen. People that we know and love may still die. If you want to explore that topic a little bit more, then we've uploaded an extra special video this week by Rob on our YouTube channel. The link is in the description. But we believe that Jesus can heal, even today, just like in our Lego story. Why don't you try retelling today's story, either by using Lego or some other toys you've got at home? It's time for crafts! It's time for crafts! You know, this wasn't the only healing miracle that Jesus did. Actually, he healed loads of people! So for today's craft, we're going to make a little game. So you'll need some paper, scissors and pens or pencils. Firstly, you'll need to fold your piece of paper in half, and then in half again, and then in half again, and then one more time in half. Then you need to cut along the edges so eventually you should end up with 16 little bits of paper. Now you need to pair these pieces of paper up. So you should end up with eight piles, with two pieces of paper in each pile. Each pile is going to be one of Jesus's healing miracles. So on the first pile, we're going to draw the miracle we learned about today. 
Jesus healing the official son. It talks about his son having a fever. So I'm going to draw a thermometer to represent this miracle. And here's the important part. You need to draw the same picture on both pieces of paper in the pile. For the next pile, Jesus healed the blind. So let's draw an eye. Thirdly, Jesus healed the deaf. So let's draw an ear. Fourth, Jesus healed the lame. So let's draw some legs. Fifth, Jesus healed the mute. So let's draw some lips. Sixth, Jesus healed the sick. So we're gonna draw a bed. Seventh, Jesus healed people with leprosy, which is like a skin disease. So I'm gonna draw a person and put red dots on them. And finally, Jesus even brought people back from the dead. So I'm gonna draw a gravestone. Now here's the fun part. You have to turn them all over and muddle them up and then turn them over two at a time. See if you can remember where the matching pairs are. Feel free to use different pictures to represent the miracles or you could use some of Jesus' other miracles. And if you've got brothers and sisters at home, why not have a go at playing each other's games? For our prayers this week, I want you to pray for someone you know who isn't very well. And I want you to try and remember to do it every day this week. If you don't know anyone who's ill, that's fine. You can pray for people in hospital or people who have coronavirus. And so a final thought. Jesus is a healer. He healed the official son and he healed lots more people too. Just like the official went to Jesus for healing for his son, we can take people to Jesus for healing through prayer even today. And we learn in today's story that Jesus can still heal people, even when he isn't physically there. And remember, if you're wondering about times when Jesus doesn't heal people, have a look at the other video we've uploaded on our YouTube channel this week. Last week we had a competition and I must say it has been so hard choosing a winner. So I've got it down to my top three. First, second and third place. So in third place we have, drum roll please, Kendrick from Kentucky. Kendrick has used a CD to make his medal which I think looks fantastic. And in second place we have, drum roll, Ali, all the way from Thailand. Now Ali has got so much detail on her medal, it looks amazing. And the winner of our virtual Sunday School medal making competition 2020 is... Ruby from Ludlow in the UK. Ruby has created her medal with a special flap in it so that she can keep the thought of put God first in her heart, which I think is just lovely. Well done to every single one of you for taking part in the medal making competition. Have a look at some of our fantastic entries. again so this week I am laying down a challenge. I want you to find a different one of Jesus' healing miracles and act it out. That could be with your toys or with your Lego or maybe even with your family. Take a photo or a video and send it in to us and you might even see yourself in next week's virtual Sunday school. So get out your Bible and have a look for one of Jesus' healing miracles. I'll give you a clue. They're gonna be in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Ask your grown-up to head over to the Forefront Theatre Facebook page and leave your videos, photos, and comments on this video link. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. See you next week. Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School?